The views and opinions expressed on any programme are those of the producers and or the persons appearing on the programme and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of FRC Media, Bristol Community College or the City of Fall River. Afternoon. Good afternoon. It's another show of the uh, table topics. And uh, I just uh, finished uh, a couple minutes ago my show in Portuguese with, uh, with Linda. And we had uh, spoken a couple, couple issues that I think that I want to get your opinion on. Oh, okay. Sounds uh, good. I don't know if you have anything for, for today, but... Um, no. I think it's it's nice for me to squeeze this couple of things. First of all, uh, first uh, uh, was the uh, superintendent situation. Yeah. Are you uh, familiar with the uh, with the situation, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know some of what's going on. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, Linda, uh, opinion, um, and. I'm going to give her opinion so I can give you my opinion. Her opinion was that people already um, given her, given him the guilty uh, without hearing from both sides. And that was because of the decision of the, uh, of the, uh, uh, the board. Well, <clears throat> he, and I would like to hear your opinion. My opinion on this is I understand and I agreed that for you to make a good judgment, you need to hear both sides. And that I agreed with her. Yeah. What I don't agree with her and what I don't agree with the board was for the fact that every time that happens in this, in this situation, in this kind of accusations, the person is put in suspense get suspended from, from the job. Still got paid. Which he's not guilty until he, he, he's guilty. Mm -hmm. So that's what the part that I, I'm upset with was happens to priests, happens to cops, happens to teachers, happens to everybody that holds seats and jobs like the superintendent's job. Mm -hmm. So why he did suspend the teachers just last year, from accusations, he suspended. So why is is not suspended? That's that's where I'm sitting right now. Is I'm not saying that he's guilty with all the letters and all this, you know, that came up. All the letters, people uh, have details. People have dates when they complain back in August, and the, the board did nothing about hide all this this information. Uh, from the public besides all of that is why is not he's not suspended from work during the investigation like he did to other people and like everybody else holding jobs like him yeah well i you know i what i find interesting is there was a teacher that i think was fired a long-term teacher said something on facebook that you know they didn't like and, you know, when you're on your own time, on your Facebook page, you have to be careful nowadays. That's just the society mm -hmm. we live in now, you know. Um, but he really didn't take too much into consideration, and he fired her. I don't think that should have been someone that was fired. I think, you know, possibly a suspension. But unfortunately, folks react to things right away. We have an example that just happened yesterday that they're going to take the Dr. Seuss books out of uh, out of circulation because mm -hmm. of these books were made back in the 1950s and people don't like how they sound, you know. So uh, we're, mm -hmm. we're in that whole environment now, cancel culture. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it should apply. I mm -hmm. think personally um, they had an investigation, which we know that we paid over twenty five thousand dollars for, which should have been conducted by the HR department. That's what they're there for. I don't know what we're paying them for if we have outside people doing investigations and we're paying them $25,000. I'm sure there's somewhere else in the city that we could have had impartial people go in and do an investigation. Even the police could have done that. 
They well, could have gone in there. And in, exactly. And in top of in top of that, it was not even a vote from the the committee to suspend him. And what they did was they they changed his contract, yeah. so he could be allowed to do and to be where he is right now because the board changed his contract, yeah. took things out of the contract to allow him to be to have these accusations on him, and he could still hold the job. Yeah, I, I, you know, we, there, there was already an investigation already. The, the, the school mm -hmm. committee, I'm sure, knows what was in the investigation. If there's nothing mm -hmm. to hide, then put it out. You know, transparency mm -hmm. is is one of the best things they say. Both sides of the political uh, aisle say the same thing. This applies here. Mm -hmm. Put, put it out so everybody can see it. And if there's nothing to be ashamed of or or worried about, then you have no problem. But put it out there to see. Be I mean, it's it's really because they didn't put it out exactly because they didn't put it out. Yep. Did not put it out. Yep. Happens is we can just imagine what's there. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, you know, I'm going back to this teacher that worked here before. I, I don't know the name, but I read it in the paper. If you're going to call people that work with you names, but you fired someone for a phrase that they put on their Facebook page, that's hypocritical to me. That, that's a little hypocritical. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, I, I, I just we he admits that he shouldn't have said some of the things he said. And, mm -hmm. you know, quite mm -hmm. frankly, Carlos, I have more of an issue with we have an HR department. Why did we pay twenty five thousand dollars to investigate this? We, we have money, I guess, to blow that we can spend twenty five thousand mm -hmm. dollars for an investigation. This should have been done in house and, and gone. I, I just it, it baffles mm -hmm. me why we paid that money. I just don't understand that. So that really aggravates me more. Well, but money, money, it's no issue. Money, yeah, well, it's no issue for for the for the school department because guess what? It's a not. It's going up again, another two percent. Okay, when they say two percent, that means ten million dollars. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's I, like I, I agree with you, but I think that probably aggravates me more than anything else is that we blew money on something that should have been in house, and or we could have. You know, if you don't want the HR department, but I mean, I'm sure there are other people that weren't really involved in this. I've done these things at work myself before. You know what I mean? You can have an impartial party. If you don't want them, then give it, bring it to a department head within the city and have them do an investigation with two or three people. Why do we have to pay $25,000? Mm -hmm. It just blows my mind when I hear about that. So um, mm -hmm. I understand we know and, what's and, and again, And again, uh, uh... I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised too. Is um, the fact that some of these accusations go back uh, eight months? Mm. You know, uh, one of the letters was was read and and forward to the the, the board back in August. Yeah, but the, you know, the, and and everything was yeah. everything was hide, and you know, nobody talked about, and and so now we we're finding out. Well, there was one, I mean, and there were a couple of letters that were sent in that I think were on the internet. Um, there was one person that worked there that had been there for years and they had told her, look, he doesn't like you, the superintendent. He doesn't like you. You need to look for another job or deal with it. That, that's, that's not what you do in an HR department or as a mm -hmm. supervisor. You don't do that. That just makes no common sense to me whatsoever. So I'd like to know if that really actually happened. But, you know, if they're not coming out to say this is this, this and this, then there's speculation out there. And if there was an investigation, like you said, uh, Council Pura said, they would put the investigation out, put it all out there so everybody sees, mm -hmm. so nobody's speculating, you know. So yeah. uh, I, I don't yep. really fall with that. I, you know, the whole thing that we can't. Yeah, you can't do that, but you already have a report. So apparently some people, did yep. some people vote against to, to terminate his contract? Uh, yes, only only two board only okay. two board, uh, board members. All right, so two people felt that he so should the be other... terminated. Terminated. So they must have yeah. read the report uh, and felt that that was necessary. So put the report out there. Then. And that's why the controversy is the other four that uh, are on this side. 
uh, kind of um, gain from being on this side because uh, daughters got got jobs at the school department. A wife got a job that was created for her uh, at the school department. So it's like they cannot abandon ship right now. You know what I'm saying? So well, you know they, as, that's why the people are saying, you know. Yeah. Well, as far as I think, um, you know, one of the council members, yeah, their family member, daughter, whatever works there. But you know what? I mean, let's face it. it it's not easy to get people to fill some of these positions at like twenty five and twenty eight thousand dollars a year. It, you know what I mean? So it, it's not as if they mm -hmm. got something. You know what I mean? It's it's not a high paying position. And they probably got the position before any of this happened, obviously. So I don't really, you know, hold that. I wouldn't hold that against that person because, hey, you know, I mean, the person got a job there. There's tons of vacancies at the school department every every year. You see tons of, uh, you know, vacancies there because a lot of people leave. They'll work there for two or three years, get the training, and they move on and go somewhere else where it's less complex. You're dealing with uh, different demographics. Where if you're in a town, it's a lot easier. You got a smaller classes. So, you know, that that's that's what happens here. So I don't really take too much of that, you know, as oh look at they voted because their daughter or their son or whatever works here, because it's not a tough, it's not an easy job working for any school system, but it makes it harder. Um, you know, when you're in urban in an urban district, you're dealing with um you know, kids that have issues, uh, economic issues. So it, it's it's not easy for sure, you know. Um, but, you know, it's... Uh, if, you, that, that, if you see me going... If you see me... Uh, uh, John, if you yeah. see me go, going off screen is because my internet shuts down and I come back again. Oh, okay, yeah. No, I, I figured it was... Uh, I could keep on talking, not a problem. <laughs> So, um, yes, just keep on, talking. Keep, so, keep on singing. There we go. Uh, so what else did you want to discuss? Well, another thing that I want to talk to you about is uh, um, a quarter of a billion dollar project. Yeah. Which one is that? So now <laughs> the, the Durfee yeah. construction. Okay. Here we go. So now, now we found out that we have problems or do we have problems already on this building, you know? Yeah. And again is, and I told Linda, it's normal for a new construction to have problems. It's normal. What it's not normal is to hide from the people. Yeah. That's the problem. You know, I mean, be clear. Hey, something went wrong. You know, we're trying to fix because now what we people seeing is it's already a new a new project and they're already changing the uh, the roof. What yeah. the hell's going on in here? Yeah, I, I hear you. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like my my parents used to tell me when you have something to to tell me as bad as bad it is, I prefer you to tell me that I hear from from uh, somebody outside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's the thing. That's the problem I have. It's normal to have problems during a construction. When it's not normal is when you you told us that you're going to be clear as water when it comes to this project. And now we're finding out that you're hiding. And this only came out because one of the contractors came, came public with yeah. So you guys knew this for months and hide it and try to cover up and hide it. That's the problem I have. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I read that in the paper. I mean, I mean, am I surprised? No, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it, it's tough getting people contractors that are decent, you know, and, and we know that you got to keep on top of them. Part of the problem is at times we never had enough people to go back and see what folks are doing, you know? And that's been so, part of the issue. According to, Linda, uh, according to Linda, these people don't answer to the, the school board. These people answer to the city, answer to city council, because the city is uh, uh, doing the construction, not the school department. The city is doing the construction. When the school is done, then they transfer the building to the school department. Okay. So here's another, here's another thing 
from that I found out from this committee that yeah. uh, are dealing with this contractors. Yeah. Joe Camara was the city council sitting on this committee to answer to the city council and to have the city sitting at the table. Yeah. Joe Camara is out of office for almost a year and a half. Yeah. Okay. And they never looked to replace a city council on that committee. So what what is this committee thinking? Yeah. Well, um, I, I don't. I mean, does it require a city councilor be on there? Is that what it is? It's, it. It. it that, that's a city council that's supposed to sit on the committee. Right. Joe Camara was the city council sitting on the committee. Well, so. If I'm the committee, if I'm a member of this committee, say, hey, we lost a city, we lost a seat, which is very important because is the, the our voice on the city council and on the city. So let's see who's the next city council that's going to sit here. So no, they, they never looked for. Now Linda uh, found out what the conversation with the mayor, who's, who's the city council. So we came to find out there was no, so now Linda, is sitting on the committee after all this time, and now she's going to go into the committee. Uh, what you know, uh, she's going to have to be bring up what's going on, what faces is. Well, but one thing I know, she already have a list of complaints that she's going to look for. You know, she's going to put her glasses on and she's going to look for those complaints at the at the building. <laughs> I don't know how that how lucky she's going to be, but. You know, probably those those mistakes are already inside the walls by now. Well, who? I mean, you know, why wouldn't we have? Uh, whatever. Um, I, you know, my thing is then I you can't totally blame that on the mayor, because the city council, you know, they know everything that everybody does. Each of the city councilors must know what each does. So when Joe Camara was out of office, nobody on the council out of nine people brought that up to the mayor. Nobody knew about that. So I don't really blame the mayor. I mean, part mm -hmm. of the responsibility is the city council to bring that up. Where's the city council president? And, and I think, and president? I think this, and I think, where are the John, other members? And, and this, and the board, and, and this boards for this construction, they knew they lost the, the city council at the board. It was the only city council sitting on the board. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is that I, I don't totally blame that on the mayor. The city council has to take responsibility. It's their seat. They should have known. And you know what I mean? And to me, why didn't I would think you'd either have the council president who does real estate. I'm sure he must know a little bit about construction. Why wouldn't he do it? You know, um, mm. I, I, I don't know. It, it's uh, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. But, yeah, it's. I mean, that's frustrating. Nobody's really paying attention to it. Then it blows up and now it's a problem, you know. Um, so well, it, the th the way the way this is going, it, 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 and we're going to end up um, having, like we talked before, having a a, um, a building that's going to need real big repairs in thirty years, thirty forty years. Well, let, uh, let me that's let, that's let, let me <laughs> give, let me give you some good news. So if this um if this bill, this one point nine trillion dollar bill that's out there in Congress. If that's passed by the Senate, I think I read in the paper that Fall River is due to get from uh, from 50 million to 80 million dollars. OK, so where will that money go? I'm sure part of it will be to get the school on track. Those two things there. So that I'll get that without having to raise taxes. But where else is the rest of it going to go? That's going to be the interesting mm -hmm. part. It should be to go to fix the roads here that are absolutely horrendous. That's what it should go to do. Um, but I'm sure that's not. Well, I have a bad idea. Yeah. I have a good idea. Sure. Let's pay the uh, the trash truck. Uh, oh, well, we, yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> well, let's buy, let's buy new truck, trash trucks. Yeah. And what, <laughs> and, and go back and go, what would do what we did again? I mean, that just, I don't know. <laughs> it's, but yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, you know, with this money, if it even goes through, I mean, I don't, I'm not really crazy about we're at $28 trillion right now. So you're going to add another 2 mm -hmm. trillion. When does the, when does the bank blow up? <laughs> you know what I mean? 
So, uh, so we'll see. Now, um, let me let me say this: what these stimulus checks, the fourteen hundred dollars, I kind of can understand. Some people are um, in need of that money. What I don't agree with is extending the unemployment when they're trying to open the country. College. That's what I don't understand because College. if you can make four hundred dollars a week, yeah. why are you gonna look for a job? Well, Carlos, you should never have to pick between safety and work. Never. That's what you're that's yeah. what the that's what the new president is saying. You should never have to pick safety over work or making an well, income. So when, David, when so when you incentivize that, what do you think is gonna happen? Oh, but people's gonna people's gonna stay home, yeah. and and guess what? And, and guess what? Uh, uh, Three hundred dollars in top. I think they want to go up to a hundred dollars more. So I think they on this new uh, uh, stimulus. I think it's uh, four hundred dollars um, a week. Four hundred dollars a week. Some people don't make don't make that a week. Okay, so, so they have, they will stay home. They will not look for jobs. They will stay home. So uh, with that being said, that's the part that I don't agree on this stimulus check, you know, because everybody's going back. Even me, even me driving school buses, I went back a long time ago. Okay? Yeah, but if you were afraid, if you were afraid, you wouldn't have to go back to work. That's, that's, some, that's another problem is how many people are going to say they're not afraid, you know, Carlos, Even like, if they're not afraid. Let me, let, me, let me bring up two other points. Gas has gone up 60 cents since the beginning of the year. Okay. We had 13 people die yesterday in California. There were 26 people in an SUV. 13 of them mm -hmm. died. Okay. They were, I believe, 13 of those folks that died were Mexican nationals. They can't identify the other folks. So when you go in and you delete all these executive orders, this is what happens. So there's the mm. old saying, be careful what you wish for, because it's probably going to come true. And it's starting to come true. Well, what, when come come, true, my friend. listen, when it comes, when comes to people crossing the border, we had plenty of conversations about this. And I, I blame, I blame our country for not having, okay, uh, programs that allow them to come in, register themselves, pay tax or high tax instead of paying 10%, let, let them pay 15%. So we can collect the tax. We know where they work. We know who they are. If they commit crime, they get, they get posted, ported back. No, that's not and what's happening now. We just, the president just signed Because we don't have a program. No, because we don't have a program. No, they have, have five. Have. They have five different drive licenses. Every state, Carlos, they they stop. They have a drive license. Carlos, there was a program that said you had to stay in Mexico. That was deleted. So now what we have is we have people coming in. They expect over a hundred thousand children are coming here from Mex. Well, mostly Central America. So a hundred thousand people are making that trek. Do you think ten year olds are coming here by themselves, walking thousands of miles? All they're doing is creating more work for these coyotes that are uh, probably abusing these kids along the way. So, you know, the part of the problem is with not having a program is that back in the 80s, they, uh, under Reagan, there was this big amnesty plan. We had 20 yeah. million people in this country. All right. 20 million people in this country. We gave them the amnesty. Great. But they needed to set up a program beforehand, but nobody agreed on it. So what happens? 30 years later, we're in the same boat as we was be we were before, and they didn't mm -hmm. want to agree to that amnesty plan to say, this is what you need to do, this, 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 and this. They could never agree on it. And that's why we're in this boat. I blame the politicians. But, uh, but, They're the ones but that I, are to blame. But I have to agree. That, but I have to agree. Out of those million people, 20 million people that came through that program, amnesty program, I bet you a lot of people got deported even when they were legal here during the, the amnesty. Because why? Because we had, the inf we had the information and they commit a crime, they got deported. But, but this is the thing, Carlos. 
if I wanted to, if I went to Portugal, all right, I have my American passport. I go in there and I stay there. Okay. Mm -hmm. For a year, I stay there for a year and I work under the table. When Portugal finds out, which it's going to be a lot quicker than they'd find out here in the U S because it's a smaller country. Do you, are they going to let me stay? They're going to deport me as soon as they can. So why can't countries like New Zealand, Canada, they have, uh, they have policies that you have to meet. This is what we want. We want to improve this country. This is what you have to have. All these countries do this. Why is it that we can't do it here? Because we are a nation of immigrants? That's fine. That was 200 years ago. But now we have to look out for the people that we have here. So we have people mm -hmm. coming in from the south of the border. They're going to give them vaccines before the people that are here. I have to walk around with this stupid mask. And you're letting people come in. It was on the news the other day. People are coming in. They don't, they're not vaccinated. They have the virus. And they're getting on buses in Texas, in California. Mm -hmm. Th this is absolutely crazy. Why can you do this? But then if I go into a store without a mask here, God knows I'll probably be arrested. So the insanity behind all this is just, it amazes me, you know? But here's, here's the thing. Texas, with all this illegal immigration and people getting from the borders with no, with no uh, 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 vaccination or, or treatment or whatever, but at the, the first state to open 100% yeah. on our country. Well, it, 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 do that make sense? Carlos, look at this. California <laughs> closed totally, right? They had one of the mm. highest cases. New York closed totally. Florida pretty much stayed open and their cases are less. So, I mean, locking people down is not the answer either. You know and I mean, there have been scientific things that are out there that say there's no difference between locking people in and letting them go about their business. There's no difference. You know, people are going to get it like you and I, I had it, you had it. I have family members that had it. I mean, it's a virus that you're going to probably get if you go out. Other than that, I could have stayed in my house for the last seven months and gone insane. <laughs> you know, or the last year now and gone insane. It, it's, I don't have a problem with Texas. I wish all these places would open now. You know what I mean? It's because what you're doing is you're, you're getting it out a little bit. You know what I mean? You're getting it out a little bit. One, you, if you're under 60, you have a 1% chance of getting, of dying from this. And people are taking a vaccine that's 60% mm -hmm. effective. Why would it take a thing of a, a vaccine that's 60% effective when I have a 1% chance of dying? <laughs> Is it me yeah. or I, I must be insane? Well, the, and, and, uh, and we have like a, a minute left. Okay. I think with all the stimulus God. checks and all this is people take, take advantage. They will take advantage and, and they will still not sa satisfy like everybody else is taking advantage of the, our programs. It doesn't matter which program. They, they're getting stuff for free and they're taking advantage and they're still not happy. They still want more because here, here's the thing. I don't make enough. I, I didn't make enough uh, uh, on weekly uh, on the drive because half of the kids are home. More than half the kids are home. So instead of me making uh, uh, 35 hours a week, I was making 15 hours a week. I could go and get an employment check. Yeah. But no, I went out and I found a job. It's plenty of jobs out there. I yeah, went but, up and I found a job. Yeah, and but, that's it. And my problem is resolved and I'm not collecting anything from government. But you, I mean, but you could have collected for the time that you lost. You could have. You know what I mean? It, it's, yes. I, so I don't I don't really see a problem with that. You're willing to go back and the services are not, you know, you you, you can't work. it. So I, I don't see an issue with that. But telling people they don't have to choose their health over work or safety it, will never go back to work. People never go back to work no. around here. Well, no, welcome to will the BI, universal based. Well, and that's what will happen. And and welcome to the end of another show. <laughs> uh, John, thank you again. Yeah. We will uh, see each other next week with, uh, with another show. Thank you. Yep.